to start out with uh, some stuff from a Hamilton book. Got season one of a slasher. And Jack Frost 2. As well as season one of the new Trilight Zone. Then, also got season 2, 3, and 4 of the original Twilight Zone. Uh, they did not have uh, season 1, and that seems to be kind of out of print now. So, but with Twilight Zone, you could just get the season 1 on DVD, but these Blu-rays had a whole bunch of special features. A lot of them have commentaries and a bunch of other stuff, which I don't think the DVD has. I haven't checked, but it says Blu-ray exclusives. So all these would be exclusives just to the Blu-ray, which is... And these were on film, so they look good. It, well, most of them were on film. Some of them were on videotape, the ones that look kind of weird. And also some, uh... Well, this is from several Goodwills. Uh, Moon 44, and I still know what you did last summer. Both of these were at the my local Goodwill. And then these were from... This is from another Goodwill. I got Batter Santa, the unrated version of Bad Santa. And Jackass Volume 3. I have Volume 2, and then... Movies 1, 2, and 3. Then I also found Hostel Part 2. And this has pretty much all the same special features as the DVD, except uh, the interactive surveillance cameras. Which that's probably because Blu-ray can, can do a little bit more than DVD in terms of interactive stuff. Then this is from my local Goodwill again. Uh, I got, uh, I think this is from a different Goodwill, but Hellraiser Revelations. Yeah, this is from another Goodwill, from the previous one, I don't know why he had it separate. Then I also got a Twisted, uh, Turner Classic Movies, uh, four film collection, uh, of Murder Mysteries, Dial M for Murder, the Faulty, the... Maltese Falcon, The Postman Always Wings Twice, and The Big Sleep. And these actually have some special features that aren't listed on the slip. And of course it's two 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 two-sided discs, but uh the Malt Maltese Falcon has some cartoons and some other stuff. The Big Sleep has comparisons between the the two versions. And uh, also a trailer for, I think, the newer one. Dal M for Murder. Some uh, 3D for Hitchcock, Dial M, and the 3D Brief History. Side B has something. Oh, that has a trailer for the both versions. The Postman always runs twice. I always like when I find these TCM uh, DVD collections at the Goodwill. I don't know if they ever put these on Blu-ray or not. And... This other one, I finally found Family Guy Blue Harvest. And this only has the one disc, but disc two was just a little copy, so it doesn't really matter. Then, oh. These are from Hamilton Book as well. Why were they in a separate pile? Uh, probably because they're, they're Arrow titles, so... The Cat O Nine Tales. The Black Cat and Reanimator, which Arrow videos. I think most of these were around eleven or twelve from Hamilton Book. So they have a whole bunch of special features. And then these last two, Cowboy Bebop the movie, but this is the UK release, which, despite what it says, uh. Where does it say region? It says region B only right there, but this is region A compatible. I don't know about region C. 
And also, if you put this in your Blu-ray player, uh, on the menu, there doesn't seem to be an option to pick English audio, but uh, there is English audio. All you have to do is push the audio button and select a different audio track. There's two, there's Japanese and English, so they're both on there. If you look up review, uh, the reviews on Amazon, it says there's no English. There is. And I got this over the U.S. release because that's expensive and hard to get. This was about around $10. And it has special features, which I think the, the Sony release doesn't. The only downside is the audio is in... Uh, Adobe Digital, not something lossless. And that's the disc. And one last thing. I got code, uh, probably not going to pronounce this right, code Gias Leoch of the Rebellion. Probably to said that totally wrong. But this is just Season 1. I got Season 2 coming. And it was actually easier... Well, there was cheaper, instead of getting the two in one, just got season one, season two separately. Season two is from Groove. They have that for, I think, $25, but if you, $25 on their eBay store. If you get two or more Blu-rays, you get 15% off. I think it's the same for DVDs and 4Ks. Of the 4Ks, they may have changed it. Uh, I don't know what deals they're having on the website right now, but and this has all this only has four discs. Funny, I saw an eBay listing for this. It said Blu-ray, but it's all the DVDs in a Blu-ray case. But I got this from Amazon for not a bad price. Brand new. I opened it. There's a little damage on the slip cover there, but I really don't care. And, uh, I watched season three of Adventure Time. You could, uh, say there's a little bit more, there's more character development. Uh, at the end of season three, they introduced the, the Fire Princess. And I think she becomes. Uh, more involved in later seasons. I've never saw Adventure Time, so this is the first time I've seen it. And yeah, I like it so much far. And in case you don't know, this is the Australian release because the United States only had seasons one to six on Blu-ray. The rest were just a DVD, and the only place to get season seven to ten on Blu-ray was this Madman release from the UK. And despite what it says, all the discs are region free. Even though it only says B, actually seasons 1 to 6 I think are direct copies of the Warner Brothers release from the US. And yeah, Cartoon Network can't even release their shows in their original country without problems. I also got the last volume of Hyper Police, volume 21 to 25. I found this only copy for like about $10, so I went and got it. And now I have all six volumes of Hyper Police. Yeah, this show is uh, a little obscure. I only really knew about it because... Volume 2 came out at Big Lots. Then I eventually got uh, Volume 3. Th th uh, I think Volume 3 and 4 I got together on eBay. Then this I got uh, on eBay. Then this I got on Amazon. I used some points to get that. And this, someone actually on Reddit actually sent me uh, a scan of the cover art. So I just need to print that. But right now I just have a... It written on a scrap piece of paper, just so I know what it is. And, uh, oh, 
Yeah, now that I have all this uh, disco tech or someone's probably going to release this on uh, on Blu-ray. But uh, they don't even know who has the rights anymore. <laughs> no one even knows who did the dub. And I don't think it was uh, really well known when it came out, but I have it now. Until next time, stay physical. Yeah. Uh.